Hey, there was a note in the comment that someone wanted a tour of the workshop and kind of how I've got things set up. So let's do that real quick. Super quick video, won't be long. I'll just walk you around and show you kind of what's going on. Uh, yeah, so this is my sort of my main workshop area and uh, video stage, I guess you could call. Uh, we'll come back to that. So uh, tools, more tools, some tools there. Uh, I was going, I have a quite the large lava lamp collection, uh, if you may or may not know that. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I probably have about 40 of various lava lamps of various ages and colors and whatever. So I was just kind of unpacking them. See, I've got one shaped like rocket ships. Uh, this is uh, kind of an old one here. I have this giant one, uh, you know, the ones that are like three feet tall or whatever, and unfortunately it didn't survive the voyage. So um, I'm kind of thinking of cleaning up the glass and maybe gluing it together and putting something in there and then putting a wacky light in here um, and making something out of it. I don't know. I might just throw it away. <laughs> this is my workshop that I've, or my wood shop that I've sort of set up. I wanted it uh, separated from the the main workshop area. So there's a roll down door that to get into here so I can open it up or close it all off when I'm working in here. Built a workbench. Uh, it's on rollers. I didn't want anything fastened to the walls in here because I wanted it to be kind of fluid. I could move things around depending on what I'm working on. Uh, it's Right now it's got cedar shingles because I'm, that's what I'm putting on the outside of this space. Uh, so there's a, a router table and my chop saw and then there's a table saw back there and I can swap these tools out and actually both of these tools will fit underneath that space and then I have a blank that fills up this space so that I can just have the workbench for ripping plywood or doing whatever. I thought that was kind of a, a fun way to do it. I'm going to put in some tubing in there uh, for dust control for vacuuming out what I'm chopping up. So eventually I was going through the, this is a box of my great grandfather's tools. There's a uh, some old planers and shapers and this funky wrench, like a clip, like a vice grip monkey wrench. <laughs> so, I've never seen anything like that, but there's some cool stuff in here. There's some needle chisels and, um, you know, just various odds and ends. I like this old tape measure. It's actually cloth. Um, I'm afraid to actually pull it out of there. I'm, I'm worried it might just sort of fall apart. That's kind of fun. So tools, tools, drill press on a cart. All this is on a cart so I can move everything around as I, as I need to. A uh, pile of old, uh, there's some pinball heads up there. And then there's a bunch of pinball machines under here. I think there's like eight or nine of them there. Uh, Royal Rumble is there. A bunch of wood chop stuff, some storage and garbage and things that I don't really know what I'm going to do with yet. More tools. There's a jackpot. So we'll come over here into the main area. Start on this side. So I've got a, another workbench over here for various odds and ends and doing things. Color lights in here for the set, um, which I can change. Um, I figured it would be fun to have sort of a, a interesting backdrop. So that's why I've kind of set it up this way with all of the you know various toys and extra crap that I don't use. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of pinball parts, more pinball parts, more pinball parts up here, and more stuff down here. Uh, the 3D printer that I've been playing with, uh, credentials that don't actually mean anything. Aw, oh, crap. More electronic parts, soldering, unsoldering, computers uh, here. So I went with, um, this time I went with, uh, they're not... They're not fluorescent tubes, they're actually LEDs. But I figured that would be a good way to light this space because they don't have a lot of glare, they don't cast a lot of shadows. Having like this light here, when you're looking at the camera, you get it's, the glare kind of gets to you over time. So I thought I'd kind of reduce that by filling up my lighting space with these with the tubes instead. And that seems to work pretty good so far. I think I need a couple more though. <clears throat> um, this table over here, this is one I had upstairs, um, but I pulled out of the space in the studio because I didn't need it. So this is now the space that I use to work on uh, computers and various things. And moving everything around, I ended up with this monitor left over. Um, 
the the big old TV thing. So I've got that hooked up to for working on computers and stuff. But then I also have it hooked up to my 6D camera, which is my main camera that I use for recording. And I can monitor, easily monitor how the frame looks, how the audio is coming in, although it doesn't tell me if the audio is garbage, <laughs> like I just ran into. Um, tells me if it's recording or not. It just is kind of nice to have something up there that I can easily see. Secondary camera is T3i. It's hooked up to a little field monitor. And then I have this guy, which is a tablet. I'm using DSLR uh, controller. I think that's what it's called. It connects by USB to the 6D. So I can take this over here and I can start and stop recording. I can set my focus point. I can change my ISO. I can do, I can change my shutters, everything uh, just from this point which makes it really easy that uh, so I don't have to keep running behind the camera every time I need to start or stop. Uh, that's That's been a new addition to this space uh, and I, I quite like it. I've talked about Focus Chicken before so Focus Chicken is my height. I would bring him over on all my old videos I would bring him over and then I could set uh, I could focus on him. I could frame the shot based on his height and everything. But he's kind of um, not needed anymore. But I'll keep him around just because I like him. And he's, he makes a funny sound when you squeeze him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then that door goes up to the studio that you've seen already. And uh, St. Bean, Pinbot, John's Jukes. Um, I have a, um, up here, this is actually a translate for uh, Big Lebowski. So I'm going to, I'll build a, a box for that, I'll frame it, and he'll go over here next to uh, uh, St. Bean. And um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much the workshop space in a nutshell, I guess. <laughs>